Hello everybody, I'm Uber Rabbit. We're here on Beam NG at Irwindale. And we're gonna see if we can drift to Irwindale here in Beam NG. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media all the channel in the description box below. Well, let's get to it. So we are in a public session, and I'm not sure how this is really gonna go. But we're just gonna go full send. Feel like we don't have enough power. But coming into the wall right we're doing a lot better than I thought we were gonna do I just realized this is the ESDA's track this is ported in from ESDA we're getting that last section down so we need a little more power on the bank but I think we might be okay That wasn't too half bad for our first try here at Irwindale. Fourth gear, maybe. Oh, little little wall tap. That guy sent it. So I don't know if it's fourth or third. Kind of looks like it. <laughs> Drift limbo. Oh. I mean, nobody see. Uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna try and do fourth again. Kind of good, kind of good, not so good. Oh, we're gonna hit. Okay. <laughs> that was bound to happen sooner or later. Oh man, that car got ripped. Well, we're gonna get ourselves a fresh car. You know what, that wasn't too bad, actually. There's some dude's bumper just chilling here. Boop. One thing I love about Beam is that. I'm gonna try and chase the chaser. We're gonna cut back. We're just gonna cut in here. He's dead. I feel like he's dead. He's in the wall. He's around the wall. Oh, I mean, we're almost there too. It was not the bestest of runs. So overall, I'm actually quite impressed with how this car is driving. Definitely uh, very difficult to get used to. We're going to try and get a chase. We're going to hop in right here. If somebody wants to give us a lead run. Meanwhile, can we give the car some more power? We can go to J. Ow. Oh man. Okay, that was a cluster. Oh, Jesus. All right. So we can give the car a 2J. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get a little more, a little more power out of this 2J. 
No, not stock ECU. 2J tuned with anti lag. Forged long block with internals. Yep. We're going to do an oil catch can. We're going full power here. Heavy duty engine mounts because we don't want to break anything. Turbos. Forty four millimeter Garrett's. I am not sure if this is actually going to uh, work fully in my favor. But we're gonna we're gonna go full send with it. We're going to see what we can do with the 2J. Guess we're about to go full send with 2J and see. I don't think it's more power a little more consistent power though I mean that was a way better run all overheating already looks like we only get one run out of the 2J <laughs> before we are smoking We do not have the goodest of cooling. I don't know if we have a bigger intercooler option, but unfortunately, I think when it comes to go custom intake manifold and see if that helps I feel like it's not well we're gonna try third gear we're not high enough on the bank initially I think we're seriously overheating the car already. I think we might get more than one run with that. So it looks like we do get a little bit better cooling, but unfortunately not a lot. Irwindale, ESDA Irwindale here. I Beam NG is definitely a extremely fun but hard track. Let's see if we can get higher up on the bank. Almost. Came down way low. We're hitting that wall. Ugh. We kind of knew that that was going to happen. I wonder if we could get something with a little more speed. 
we do have a Pro Drift Supra that we're gonna give a shot and see if we can get this Pro Drift Supra to go around the course. So we're gonna go full send. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all found in the description box below. If you guys wanna see Beam and Jean, and we're here. Oh, no. This is a little bit way too grippy. Too much grip. I think that's gonna do it for this episode here on Beam NG. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Too much grip. And dead.